Uh, and, and we are not just seeing the flooding situation in Salt Lake, as you've heard. There are several parts across the state dealing with some form of flood or another. Now, Ogden City preparing for flooding with crews on standby 24 hours a day. They're asking the public to really step up and help as well. Our ABC Forest, Cade Gardner, doing such a good job monitoring situations in northern Utah for us here at ABC4. We'll send it over to you, Cade. Emily, I am standing on a road that runs through Fort Buenaventura Park in Ogden, and you can barely tell that it's a road because it is now covered in mud and obviously water like I'm walking in. Now, just to my left is actually Weber River. You can't see Weber, Weber River right now because of the berm that's been built, and this is to keep additional flood water from coming into the park and the area nearby. Now, the city and the county do expect to see some flooding around Weber and Ogden rivers, but it's the rivers that aren't even really worrying them at the Ogden City Department, the police department, the fire department. What they're worried about right now is the East Bench. This ravine is actually the Douglas Trailhead on the East Bench in Ogden. Please call us if you see these things. The police department, fire department, and public works are all tackling flooding together and they need your help. Please contact us so we can go up and evaluate to see if there's anything that we can do to help mitigate some of the issues. The city is asking people to call the Weber County non-emergency number you see on screen. But when should you call? Just days ago, this was a popular hiking trail. Now it's a brand new stream and officials say this is happening more often. It's something they've never seen. There's so much snow and so much melt from the snow that it's literally creating new waterways. The quick action of a resident allowed the city to divert this new stream into a nearby storm drain. If you see water running in an area it normally would not, call it in. We're preparing, we're ahead of the game. So as we're monitoring daily, uh, we're even going to drive the face of the mountain and kind of watch for any uh, new streams that are coming up. The city has 2,000 sandbags filled, as well as 40,000 bags ready to be filled, and will offer those bags to people in active flood areas. We have what we need. Um, and we have a plan in place, so even though we're not giving them out, it's there's for a reason. We've been down this road before. When we needed it, it wasn't there. Help us help you. We're committed to help mitigate, to dam, dike, and divert these water issues, and we're here to help the community that's at, at need. Please watch for new waterways. Please watch for these creeks or these new systems that are going to be coming down off the mountain, creating new ravines, creating new uh, issues and problems. Now, both the city and the county have been working to pull debris out of the Weber and Ogden rivers. Debris, we're not just talking about plastic cups and plastic bags. We're talking about full tree trunks like the debris you see next to me. Now, they are saying that people should also be watching out for that. If you're out and about, if you're driving and you notice that there are, you know, trees, a bunch of debris in one of the rivers, whether, whether it be Weber, Ogden or another one that look like they're starting to build up and maybe create a natural dam, to call that number that you saw on screen and report it as soon as possible. Reporting live in Ogden, Kate Garner. Emily, back to you.